Merci, Kirsty. Bonjour, tout le monde. As the minister mentioned, we made a promise to Canadians. We promised we would do more to promote science and to let evidence guide the decisions we make as a government. We did this because the values of science, the freedom to ask questions, to explore, to verify, and to discover, these are values that are important to our government and to all Canadians. Scientists need to have a voice. They need to be able to speak freely about their work because the work that they do has the power to change the world. For certain, the travail consists à étudier de nouveaux médicaments qui pourraient ralentir la propagation de maladies et sauver des vies. D'autres développent de nouvelles technologies. Les piles, les batteries au lithium-ion qui alimentent nos cellulaires, nos outils électriques et nos véhicules électriques, même le rover Curiosity sur Mars, ont été inventés par un scientifique canadien de l'Université Dalhousie. Et d'autres encore passent leur journée à sonder les profondeurs de l'espace, à la recherche d'éléments insaisissables tels que la matière noire et l'énergie sombre. Dans le domaine spatial, les connaissances que nous acquérons ne sont pas toujours théoriques. If you've used an infrared ear thermometer to check your child's temperature, if you've slept on a memory foam pillow, or even grabbed a hot pan out of the oven using a flame-resistant glove, you're using technology that has a direct link back to space exploration. Whatever they find, wherever they look, the discoveries that scientists make give us the tools we need to take better care of ourselves, better care of each other, and of the world around us. And that is why our government is committed to supporting science and Canada's remarkable scientists. We have one of those scientists here today. Madame Mona Niemer is a researcher's emerit du domaine médical, dont le travail est axé sur le cœur, Euh, notamment les mécanismes liés à l'insuffisance cardiaque et aux ma maladies cardiaques congénitales. Ses travaux de recherche ont contribué à l'élaboration de nouveaux tests de dépistage et offert de nouvelles façons de comprendre le, les problèmes cardiaques chez les nouveaux-nés. Madame Neymar a également occupé les fonctions de vice-rectrice à la recherche à l'Université d'Ottawa, où elle a aidé à former des chercheurs au Canada et à travers le monde. And her story? Well, it's a very Canadian one. As a young person, Dr. Niemer knew that she wanted to be a scientist, and she didn't let anything stand in her way. Not the middle school teachers in Lebanon who told her that young girls shouldn't go into science. She disagreed and became one of the first young women to study science in her high school. Not even war could dissuade her from her path. Quand ses études à l'Université américaine de Beyrouth ont été interrompues par la guerre, c'est au sous-sol de son dortoir qu'elle a retrouvé refuge pendant plusieurs mois avant de s'enfuir et finalement rentrer au Canada. C'est à Montréal, à l'Université McGill, qu'elle a convaincu Kelvin Ogilvy, maintenant sénateur conservateur, qui est ici avec nous aujourd'hui, bonjour sénateur, de la prendre sous son aile comme étudiante au doctorat. Et c'est dans les labos de McGill et dans bien d'autres par la suite que Mme Niemer a réalisé, a réalisé découverte après découverte, améliorant ainsi notre compréhension de la chimie, de la génétique et du cœur humain. For these and her many other accomplishments, it gives me tremendous pleasure to introduce Dr. Mona Niemer as Canada's new Chief Science Advisor. Dr. Niemer will advise me, the Minister of Science, and other members of Cabinet as needed on scientific issues of national importance. She will provide advice to ensure that we have the evidence we need to make good decisions for all Canadians, decisions that will help us to strengthen and grow the middle class and build an economy that works for everyone. On behalf of our government, I want to welcome Dr. Niemer to her new role and look forward to working with her to keep science at the heart of our government. Je vais maintenant laisser la parole à Madame Niemer, mais je vais répondre à vos questions dans quelques minutes. Merci.
Merci, Monsieur le Premier ministre. Merci, Madame la ministre Duncan. Quelle belle journée pour la science. Quelle belle journée pour la science. Good afternoon. Bonjour à tous. Je suis ravie d'être aujourd'hui avec vous et de voir tellement de visages qui me sont familiers. It's delightful to be here and see so many familiar faces from the science and the research community. So let me begin by saying how happy and proud I am to have been chosen as Canada's new chief science advisor. I'm a passionate of science and passionate about Canada. So you can understand that this is a challenge that I'm very excited to take on. J'ai hâte de collaborer de près avec mes collègues et les parties intéressées à faire du Canada un chef de file mondial dans le domaine scientifique. Let's all work together to make Canada a global leader in science. In this new role, my main function will be to advise the government on science issues. I consider science and evidence-based policies to be vital to growing a healthy and progressive society. Science helps advance key societal priorities, from public health, environmental sustainability, economic prosperity, and of course, national security. We scientists have an important role to play inside and outside our labs, like engaging in knowledge exchange and in translating and explaining science to the public, including to our youth. We must increase our participation in public debates, particularly in matters requiring scientific understanding and perspective. And there are many of them. It is in the interest of everyone that we all become more scientifically literate. That is why I will work to ensure that Canadians have access to scientific information. I will conduct my job in an open and transparent manner, and I will provide the impartial advice that government needs. I am pleased and encouraged by our government's respect and enthusiasm for science. I think that's something that's very important. J'anticipe donc avec plaisir la possibilité de prêter main forte à l'ensemble de la communauté scientifique aux responsables des politiques et au public pour contribuer à assurer la vitalité et la prospérité de la société de demain. I'm taking this job to make a difference and I intend to do so. Thank you, merci and on to the work.